Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Lindsay with Evergreen Intuitive Tarot. Today we're gonna to do an all signs reading for who or what is coming towards you and what you need to know. A few things before we get started, guys. First of all, thank you everybody for your congratulations on my wedding, I appreciate it. Today is one week that I have been in wedded bliss, so thank you very much. Um, if you need a private reading for me, they are currently open. You can find my email address down below in the description box. Shoot me an email, I'll get you started. Um, keep in mind, guys, that this is just a tarot reading. Energies can be um, flipped around, and if something doesn't resonate, watch another placement. Um, what else? Whatever comes up, comes out. I have very little control over <laughs> what comes out in these readings. If you get something different from the message, congratulations. Um, maybe you should start a channel because I know I have a lot of gifted readers that watch me. So um, with all that being said, let's get started with my drink because I'm thirsty. <laughs> I miss you guys. All right. Spirit, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you please give us a few cards on what Aries can look forward to? What does Aries need to know? Oh, goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So you're spiritually elevating. You may be getting more hours, more business, more money. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? What else for Aries? It is hot in this room. I'm gonna have to turn my fan on. That's too many, but I'll take this one. Barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Okay. So you feel like something is lacking, but the universe is providing for you in terms of spiritual growth and money. So maybe you feel like you're lacking love or direction. Okay, that's fair. All right, Spirit for Aries, what does Aries need to know? One card, please. Who or what is coming towards Aries? What do they need to know? This is for Aries. What does Aries need to know? One card, please. All right, you got thoughts. So you're deep in your head about something. You're thinking about someone in particular, thinking about something. Could be a masculine with dark hair, dark uh, facial hair, dark eyes, dark features. Or if you're masculine or into same sex, it could be someone with like auburn red hair, um, somebody who's into art, maybe you're dabbling in the arts or you're into somebody who's into art, but you're, something or someone is heavy on your mind. You're doing a lot of contemplating. Um, you may be journaling, you may be dreaming about this person or dreaming about this thing. Let's see if we can get some clarity. All right, let's get a romance angel card. Spirit, what is coming in for Aries? Who or what is coming towards them? What does Aries need to know? Aries. I feel like Aries is on the brink of something changing. I think between Libra and Scorpio season, we've only got a few days left in Libra season. I feel like something is about to change for you guys. Spirit, what is coming in for Aries? One card, please. Aries. Oh, the very last one. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I do feel like some of you are interested in somebody at this moment. You're thinking about them. They may be thinking about you. Maybe you haven't expressed your feelings yet. I don't know. Let's get some cards and find out. Spirit, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you please tell us? Ooh, Knight of Cups and Six of Wands. Aries, if you've been dealing with a water sign or if you're considering sharing your feelings with someone, I feel like you will be victorious and you will be seen and heard and energy will be matched. Interesting. Why am I feeling hair on me? Oh there's hair on me. Jesus, Aries. All right. Let's get a couple of shuffles. I haven't used this deck in a while, so let's wake her up. Some of you may be daydreaming up about the future, contemplating your options. You may be dating multiple people or, or talking to multiple people, but I feel like there's one person in particular who may have your attention or your heart. All right, spirit, who or what is coming towards Aries? What does my Aries need to know, please? Aries. I just heard Capricorn, so I'm not sure if you're dealing with one or have that in your chart. You got 10 of coins right off the bat, so money is looking good. I feel like material wealth is growing. You may be investing, saving, growing your money, growing your resources here, saving. Uh, three of Wands, you're looking to the future. You're planning for something. Some of you are planning to move, planning for travel, planning for the next phase in your life. Some of you have made a decision about work or love and you're moving forward confidently. Nine of Wands, I take back the confident part. 
<laughs> um, Aries, I feel like there's something that you're stuck on. This could be um, unhealed wounds from the past. You could be feeling overwhelmed or burdened. Um, if you need help, ask for help. But I feel like there's something that's coming up. It's like a lot of things are good in your life, but there's something that's wounded you in the past that you haven't gotten over. This could also be um, feeling trepidation or hesitation in expressing your feelings towards this person that we've been talking about. But let's see what else you need to know for Aries. And the 10 of cups. Well, listen, honey, I wish you could see an overhead view. You have the 10 of coins and the 10 of cups. So I feel like you may be getting in your own head, getting in your own way. You may be overthinking something, complicating something that is not complicated. It's not meant to be complicated. I feel like in between the potential of emotional happiness and financial stability, you've got um, some issues moving forward into the future. It's like you have all these grand plans and ideas and dreams and hopes, but there's something that's holding you back. <clears throat> and I feel like it's from the past, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. Um, this is like, I just can't go on. I don't know how much more I can handle. And I feel like if you keep pushing through, because we've got, like I said, 10 of coins in the beginning, but then 10 of cups at the end after the nine of wands. So I feel like if you keep pushing through and you are authentic and real and true to yourself and, um, and accepting of the way you feel, that the 10 of cups is right around the corner. That's that dreamy love. That's that forever love. That's that, you know, curled up on the couch with the pets and the fire roaring and a glass of wine. Um, but you may have to put yourself in a very uncomfortable position in order to attain that. And that could be being vulnerable. And maybe you don't want to be vulnerable because you've been vulnerable in the past and you've been fucked over or you've had your heart broken, whatever it is, Aries. Um, but I feel like it's worth it. It's worth the shot. Um, do I want to get... Yeah, let's clarify these. Why not? Over seven minutes. Yeah. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this Ten of Coins for Aries, please. <sighs> tell me more about this Ten of Coins for Aries. The Nine of Wands again. I wonder if some of you guys are worried that financially you may not be stable enough or you wonder if you are... Um, worthy of something or wondering if maybe um, this the your life in general may not offer the stability that you would want or you may not be getting the stability you want from somebody else but this is again um, you know what's interesting about this nine of wands is he is a warrior and he's ready to fight um, so I feel like coming into Scorpio season Aries, you're going to be turning a corner and turning your wounds into wins, if you will. That was kind of cheesy, but I don't know what else to say. I'm channeling. Um, so just keep fighting the good fight is what I'm hearing. Fight for, fight for your right to party. <laughs> like the Beastie Boys. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you feel. Fight for right. Fight for the right thing. Do the next right thing. You're all good. Spirit, tell me about this three of wands for Aries. Oh, King of Wands, you may be um, heading towards a fire sign, but for most of you, I feel like you are coming into your own, you're maturing, you are figuring out exactly who you are, exactly what you want, what you don't want. Um, I feel like you are very magnetic in the near future, Aries, and that your um, charisma and your magnetism is just at an all-time high. So this is a good time to plan, a good time to pursue who and what you want. Spirit, tell me about this Nine of Wands for Aries. Oh, nine of swords in reverse. Very good. See? Okay. I feel like some of you guys are making a conscious decision to not let your fears or past hold you back. Nine of wands or nine of swords upright is anxiety, sleepless nights, um, worrying. But in reverse, I feel like you're getting past that. I feel like you are not allowing it to control you. Some of you may be learning some new patterns um, for sleeping. So maybe a new mattress or trying to get your circadian rhythm on point or um, seeing somebody about anxiety and I feel like it's working or whatever you're doing in the near future to kind of tame your anxiety and your um, your wounded self. I feel like you're healing and you're getting better and you're making moves forward and you're being more fearless in your approach of your dream life. Beautiful. Tell me about this 10 of cups for Aries. 
thoughts and feelings. Your thoughts and feelings are extremely real and worth exploring. You have page of wands and king of cups. <laughs> yep. I feel like you're going to be approached by a water sign or approaching a water sign. Some of you may have a small child at home or somebody you're interested in has a child, but this is um, messages. This is communication. This is flirting. This is, Hey, would you like to go on a date? Hey, I'm interested in you. And the feeling is mutual. King of cups, king of wands here. You could also have two people that are interested in you or that you're interested in. And I would say, you know, follow your heart Aries. It's not going to be the same for all of you, but whatever makes you feel the most stable, the most excited, um, and the most happy. And, um, that's what you should pursue. Pursue your joy. Um, page of wands with the king of cups means express your feelings, right? And we just had that up here, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So explore them, but also express them. Okay. All right, Aries, that was a beautiful reading. Great way to kick it off. I hope you enjoyed it. Really hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me, Aries. And I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. Before we move on to Taurus, I'm going to shift a couple of things around. Because I'm not using this. I found out what people mean by down and out. Took my car, started telling her friends she gonna be a star. Led Zeppelin is my all-time favorite band. Just saying. All right. I almost don't even want to mess with these too much because if they get to a point that they're looking fucking crazy, I'm going to have to, I don't know. You guys know I like to talk, I'm fucking, I just talk shit to my bangs in between the fucking readings. Oh, it's hot in this room. Oh, you guys like my, so this is my like witchy apothecary. I use everything on these shelves all the time and it was downstairs but I brought it upstairs because I was like oh that you know I should have all my witchy shit in one room so here we are but now I miss it because when it was downstairs I could just run to my shelves get my cauldron together get whatever I needed for you know whatever moon phase or whatever and now I have to come upstairs and while my apple watch likes to congratulate me on extra steps um I don't like stairs, so there's that anyways all right let's move on to Jesus Lindsay let's move on to Taurus Spirit, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can we please get a few cards to find out who or what is coming towards Taurus and what Taurus needs to know? Hi, Taurus. All right, let's see. What's coming in for Taurus? Oh, you got two right off the bat. Oh, shit. You got rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters? So you may be putting too much weight on a sexual connection, whether it's too good, good enough, not good enough, or you're just very hyper-focused. Maybe hormones are going crazy. Um, maybe you're into a very sexual attraction and there's not much else to it. Um, it's going to be different for all y'all. Gavel, involvement with the law. So you could be involved with somebody that is a lawyer, a judge, a law enforcement officer, something like that, or you could be. Also, you could be involved in a legal pursuit of some sort. This could be anything, a lawsuit, this could be a, a civil case, this could be a, um, you know, an accident, I, I don't know, but you're, there's something about the law here. All right, let's get a kipper. Spirit, this is for Taurus. Who or what is coming towards Taurus and what do they need to know? Also be aware, guys, that um, if there's somebody in your life that you are, you kind of have like a, a feeling like maybe it's just sexual, this would say it probably is, and that you need to go deeper or, um, or whatnot. All right, Taurus, courtship. So you're dating. Somebody may be asking you on a date, pursuing you, or you're pursuing somebody. We've got courtship here. Courtship is dating with intention, right? It's not just dating to date, it's dating with intention. So this is gifts, dates, um, proper courtship. It's beautiful. I don't know why I pulled that, I'm not ready for it. Spirit, what is coming in for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Taurus. Oh, Christ on a cracker. You got, this could be the one. Jesus, Taurus, save some for the rest of us. It says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. You've already met him. You already know him. All right, moving on. Spirit, this is for Taurus. Can we please have some cards for who or what is coming towards Taurus? What do they need to know? Let's get four cards. Taurus. 
Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. So you're very magnetic, very attractive. You're going after what you want and you are highly, you're like a commodity. You're highly valuable, highly desired. Eight of coins, sorry, three of coins. You may be um, having people pursue you at work or wanting to work with you, wanting to date you, wanting to build something with you. I feel like you're a hot commodity um, in, the, in the coming, you know, the coming month or months, Taurus. Um, I feel like you're doing well at your job. I feel like you are, you know, all eyes are on you kind of thing. And you have the opportunity to work with a team or work with someone new or build something that has long-term potential. Two more for Taurus. The devil, Capricorn energy here. So we've got something that may be holding you back. You could have a Capricorn coming towards you, but you may have some, um, I almost said bondage. I mean, hello. But you may have some habits or some hurts or some hangups. There's something or someone that you may be tied to that may be holding you back. You may need to overcome some bad habits. Um, but for some of you, this could just be a Capricorn coming towards you or even by Capricorn season, which starts December 22nd. Um, the devil. We're going to clarify all of these, by the way. One more for Taurus. Knight of Wands. Aries also got this. So you may be dealing with one or have that in your chart or even be on the cusp. So I feel like you may be meeting someone who's really good for you, but there may be some hangups, either bad habits or past or sexual energy. Something here may be kind of giving you some hesitation or trepidation to move forward. And I feel like you need to not only trust your intuition, but maybe get some advice from trusted friends. It is under gavel, so maybe you need to have other people weigh in on this. Let's clarify, because I want to know if you should be worried. <laughs> Spirit, tell me more about the Queen of Wands for Taurus, please. The song that's on right now is No One Is To Blame by Howard, what's his name, Howard Jones? Anyways, No One Is To Blame. So this would say like, don't be so quick to judge someone, and especially yourself. Like everybody's got baggage, everybody has a past. Okay. Spirit, tell me more about the Queen of Wands for Taurus. I'm seeing the, initial, the initials C, G, L, M. Okay. You got the queen of wands to clarify the fucking queen of wands. Are you kidding me? What are the odds of that happening? Hello. So some of you are dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but others of you are just on fire. You're very mesmerizing at this time. I'm seeing long flowing hair. I'd like to think that this is in my head. This is what I look like, Taurus. <laughs> um, but no, you're, you're, you're on fire. This girl is on fire. I hate Alicia Keys, but that's my jam. That, actually, no, that's not my jam. Why did I just say that? Maybe you love that song. I can't stay. There's one Alicia Keys song that I like, Diary. That's my jam. All the other ones are shit. Don't come for me. Um, anyways, you're just very magnetic. You're very attractive. Now, here's the thing. The more light you shine, Taurus, you run the risk of attracting moths. So you're going to have to do some, you know, research. You're going to have to weigh out your options. But don't weigh anybody too harshly at first, okay? Get to know somebody. Perfect. Tell me about the three of coins for Taurus. What is this three of coins for Taurus? Some of you, I feel like, are doing really well at work. And, and it may inspire your boss to give you more work. And you may be like, whoa, that's a little much. Seven of Wands here with the Three of Coins. Again, like I just said, you may be blocking an opportunity to increase your workload or declining an invite to work with a team. You may also be, 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 you may also be being approached. That doesn't sound right grammatically, whatever. You may be approached by multiple people and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's almost like you're having to set strong boundaries. You're having to um, speak your mind, speak your truth, and you're having to block out any opinions or any approaches or any offers that you do not believe are worthy of you. And I feel like you'd be right in doing so. Spirit, why is the devil here for my Taurus? Okay, that's like 150,000 cards. There's three, there's three cards, Taurus. You have the 10 of cups in reverse with the devil. So some of you may be looking for perfection. You may be looking for that dreamy love. You may be looking for perfection, but there may be something in yourself that's blocking you from reaching that kind of epitome of happiness. Or you may be realizing that no one is perfect and you can never have it all. You're gonna have to accept the dark bits in you and the dark bits in your person. 
Spirit wise, the nine of wands here for Taurus. Oh, of course it's on the fucking floor. Oh my God, I can't. You got the eight of swords in reverse. Love that in reverse. So you're getting out of your own head. You are um, kind of managing your anxiety, managing your self-limiting beliefs and thoughts. You are mentally growing strength. You are almost, it's like you're almost overcoming your own overthinking with your right thinking. So it's like you're self-correcting. Um, and I feel like it's going to really do well in navigating you in work and love so that you don't overlook something or someone that may be a really good fit for you. You know, I've heard, what is that saying? I don't, I'm not going to say it verbatim, but it's something to the effect of find somebody whose demons play with your demons or whose monsters play well with your monsters. Um, you know, if y'all's baggage matches, great, but everybody's got it. So, you know, you just got to find somebody whose dark side can dance with your dark side. But Taurus, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, Taurus, that would be amazing. And I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. You can not Alexa, turn it up. Fun fact, my real hair under this wig is this color, a tiny bit darker, and almost this long. I've been growing it out for two and a half years, and I've had a couple of trims in the meantime, but it's, it's probably like to here. It's getting there, y'all. I'm almost done with the wigs, but for now, it's just easier than doing my hair, even though I did just get a Dyson Air. My husband bought me a Dyson Air wrap. And I love it because I have really bad carpal tunnel and this, these readings do not help, but it's worth it. Um, but it's still, I feel like my hair is not quite long enough to love yet. So until then, I'm going to be wearing the wigs, but here we are. All right, let's move on to Gemini. Spirit, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you please give us a few cards for who or what is coming towards Gemini and what Gemini needs to know? Thank you, Spirit. Gemini. Frying pan, rut road, trouble, and accusa accusations. So you may be dealing with this at work or in a relationship, or you may be pointing the finger at somebody. One more for Gemini. You got dogs getting together with friends. Very good. So you're hanging out with friends, socializing, going on vacation, drinking, having sleepovers, whatever you do with your friends. All right, let's get a kipper for Gemini. Spirit, this is for Gemini. One card, please. You got mature man. This is kind of like the uh, emperor, okay? So this is a man who is probably in his 40s, 50s or above, somebody who may run their own business, has a high powered job, is very mature, very organized. Um, somebody who has learned a lot, somebody who has grown up. This could be a father figure, excuse me, a father figure. This could be a boss, this could be a lover, a mentor, a friend, a sibling. But this is someone who, is very wise and is not gonna fucking play games, okay? All right, let's get one of these for Gemini. I just heard, here we go again. Are some of you meeting someone and you're not looking forward to the, the kind of getting to know you again? Or are some of you guys dealing with repeat, repeating problems in a relationship, whether it's love, professional, whatever? There's something about repetition here. Here we go again. Okay. Gemini. I feel like whatever it is you're consulting your friends. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So some of you have recently met or will be meeting somebody that could definitely be your true love. Hot, passionate, romantic, vulnerable, safe feeling. All right, spirit. Can we please have four cards? Who or what is coming towards Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? We're going to pull four cards, Gemini, and then we will clarify them, okay? Who or what is coming towards Gemini? What do they need to know, spirit? Thank you. What is this? Ten of coins. Aries got this in the same placement. Very first card out is ten of coins. So I feel like material wealth is good. So I feel like you're investing, you're building your portfolio, you are saving, you're making good money. Um, you're being very responsible with your resources, um, time, energy, effort, money, things like that. So the stability is here. Some of you may be having some problems with money. This could be tax issues. This could be um, some financial trouble and accusations. Somebody may be accusing you of being stingy or um, hiding money. 
Okay, oh well. If it's your money, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it, Gemini. All right, three more cards for my gems. Okay, you got the High Priestess in reverse. Some of you have not been trusting your gut or trusting your intuition. Others of you may have taken some bad advice, some poor advice from someone who said they were connected to the divine or said that they could, it could be, could be a reader, could be yourself, could be a friend, but there's somebody here that may not have given you good, good guidance, but you're not trusting your gut. There's something here. It's like you're, you're not seeing the forest for the trees. You may be too close. You may need to take a step back and keep your mouth shut and do some meditating and praying and just observe patterns, observe behaviors, observe what people are doing, okay? Including yourself. Two more for Gemini. Pisces energy with the High Priestess. Gemini. Okay, you get the Nine of Swords. You got some anxiety, trouble sleeping, boo. Are you waking up a lot at night? This full moon could have had something to do with it. Some of you guys are having nightmares or thinking about a Capricorn because the devil is here in the window. Okay. Um, so something or someone is stressing you out, giving you anxiety. You're having trouble sleeping. You're having trouble getting clarity. You may feel haunted by something or someone. You may be seeing someone in your dreams. One more for Gemini. It's also under true love. So I feel like you may be so jaded, Gemini, that if true love comes to you, you may be scared of it and you may run or push it away. So be mindful of that. Page of Swords here under Dogs. So you may be, like I said, researching, doing, uh, getting some information, talking to your friends, getting some advice. I feel like there's messages coming in for you or you're messaging somebody. I feel like this is new and fresh. Um, just trying to get information, just connecting. Some of you are learning something new, could be a vocation, a trade, maybe going back to school, or you're just learning how to um, say, do a new job at your job. You're being trained for something or you're learning how to do something different than what you do now. Sorry, I have an air, a hair in my eye. It's pissing me off. All right, let's clarify these cards for Gemini Spirit. Tell me about the 10 of coins for Gemini. Tell me more about this 10 of coins for Gemini. Death, Scorpio energy. So you may be changing something about the way that you manage your material resources, your money, your wealth, your time. Something big is changing. This could also be a huge change in your income or in your ability to attain and sustain st uh, stability. That was, a, that was a fucking mouthful. Scorpio energy here. Also around Scorpio season, which starts in a little less than a week, I feel like um, things could really start looking up for you financially. Spirit, tell me about the High Priestess in reverse for Gemini. The Magician in reverse. So this is manipulative. This is um, not believing in one's own power. This is putting on a show. So again, I feel like you've been doubting yourself, Gemini. You've been doubting your intuition, doubting your magic. The magician is a card of Gemini and it's in reverse. So there's something about you not feeling yourself. Maybe you've been in a funk. There may be a mature man that you can consult with or could give you some guidance on this because you do have everything you need, but in your eyes or in your mind, you don't. And you're not trusting yourself. Four of swords on the bottom. Maybe time to withdraw and disconnect and do some healing and some thinking and some, you know, coming to grips with reality and getting out of your own way, getting out of your head, Gemini. Y'all can be anxious as fuck. Spirit, give me the nine of swords for Gemini. Tell me more. Please clarify the nine of swords for Gemini. You got the page of wands. Some of you may be fearing a message or fearing a connection or fearing expressing yourself here. If you have a kid, you may have a kid that's not sleeping well through the night or is keeping you up or you're stressed about a child. But for most of you, I feel like you're stressed about some news. You may be stressed about if you're getting the promotion, stressed about if this person wants to date you, stressed about if, you know, what, what your financial advisor has to say or what this person has to say or stressed about the trouble and accusations that we talked about earlier with the frying pan. Again, trust your gut, trust your friends, um, get sage advice from qualified people, especially this mature man and your friends. And don't let it affect your money or your stability. Spirit, page of swords for Gemini. The moon. So there's a message or communication coming in, but they won't let me tell you what it's about. Cancer Pisces energy here with the moon. We did just have a full moon yesterday. 
Um, so I almost wonder if by the next moon cycle, you're going to find out something that either clears the air or gives you some rest and some hope. The moon, um, you're getting clarity on something that you're unsure of or scared of. And I think that that's really, really good, but they're not going to let me elaborate much more on that. So Gemini, that is your reading. Uh, you could be dealing with another Gemini, a Pisces, a Gemini Aquarius Libra or an Aries Leo Sagittarius. That's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I certainly hope it helps. Gemini, if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. And I will see you in your next reading or placement, Gemini. Take care. That was a very interesting reading. Calls me the devil. I make him wanna sin every time I'm not. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to be just real hair all the time. I'm still working towards it. I got more work to do. My hair does not grow quickly and I'm growing it out from being shaved, as you guys might remember if you've been on this channel for years. All right, next up we have Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome. Let's see who or what is coming towards Cancer and what you need to know. Spirit, this is for Cancer. Two cards, please. Who or what is coming towards Cancer? You got mice, discord among friends or family. So you may have some friends or family talking shit. They may be fighting with you, maybe fighting with each other, fighting with you. Some discord here, friends or family. Ooh. And you got butterfly, a change for the better. Well, whatever's happening, is happening for the best, happening for your highest good and the people that you love, okay? Welcome the change, even if it comes with some discord, because a lot of times some of the best changes in our lives come with a little bit of drama or a little bit of shiftiness. All right, Spirit, this is for Cancer. Who or what is coming towards Cancer? What do they need to know? Cancer. Answer. You got journey. Some of you may be traveling, moving, visiting someone. Maybe somebody's visiting you. You may be planning a trip. There's a journey that you're going on, and I feel like it is physical. For some of you, it could be mental, emotional, spiritual. Um, but you're on a journey right now, and think some things are going to have to fall apart before other things can fall into place because you have to make room for them. Take into account the butterfly. Remember, it starts off as a caterpillar, and then it goes into the chrysalis, turns into a pile of goo. And then somehow biomolecularly, it turns into a goddamn butterfly. It's magic. So you're going through a transition right now that may have maybe a little uncomfortable, especially when it comes to people in your life. You may be telling somebody, telling say a group of friends or family that you're moving or you're starting a new relationship or you're going to college for something or whatever, taking a new job and they may not like it. And it's not about them, is it? All right. Now take their opinions in stride, but if you really want what you want, you're gonna have to make a change and it's going to bring the better version of you, the, the, the better things towards you. You know what you're doing. Trust yourself, Cancer. All right, Cancer, who or what is coming towards them? Ooh. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So some of you guys have been under the thumb of a controlling parent, a controlling partner, a controlling friend. Um, and it's time to free yourself from any habits or any connections or relationships that are holding you back and not allowing yourself, not allowing you to um, kind of flow through life and become. I feel like there's somebody or a group of people here that may want to keep you stagnant because it makes them feel comfortable and serves them, but that's not your journey. And I feel like if you choose to stay there, it will serve them, but it will nearly kill you. And I don't mean physically, I mean spiritually. So keep that in mind. You know, you can't take everything and everyone with you when you go. It's, this is your life, your journey. You have to do what's best for you. Spirit, can we please have four cards for who or what is coming towards cancer and what cancer needs to know? I'm going to pull these cards and we'll clarify them, okay? All right, cancer, who or what is coming towards you, darling? Eight of wands. Yeah, you're moving, baby. You got messages back and forth, emails, phone calls, letters, offers, um, traveling back and forth. 
could be getting messages from somebody in particular, or you could be, I feel like some of you could be the middleman for these friends that are fighting, or you've got people coming at you like, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like your approach. Um, but there's a lot of very fast moving energy here. Travel messages, forward movement though, which is good. That's important. Cancer, three more cards. Four of swords. So this talks about withdrawing, healing, um, processing pain, biting your tongue. Some of you may be going through a medical procedure. Uh, this could have something to do with shots or um, surgery, and there may be some healing involved here. But some of you are biting your tongue. I feel like there's there are things you are going to want to say and express, but it's like you either don't feel like it's worth it or you're just sitting on it for now until a more appropriate time. Some of you may not be telling people about this journey that you're going on, but again, whatever that journey is, you're keeping it to yourself. Two more for Cancer. Two more for Cancer. You got the two of coins. So you're weighing out your options. You're trying to balance your time, money, relationships. You're trying to, um, some of you are have too much on your plate. Maybe you need to outsource or ask for help. And then you got the nine of wands in reverse under butterfly. Yeah, I feel like once you let go of other people's expectations of you and you decide to take full accountability and accept your fate and do what you want to do, I feel like that's going to heal you in more ways than one. It's gonna. It's like you're taking your power back. It's like all anything that you were afraid of turned out to be nothing. And I feel like that's how, how it's gonna go, how this journey is gonna go for you. Um, no matter what other people are saying, if you feel it in your heart of hearts and in your soul that this is the path for you, then trust it. Jamaicans, so bum bum. Bum bum, be bum bum. Spirit, why is the Eight of Wands here for my Cancer? You have the Six of Cups. So again, this is people you've known since you know you were a child. This could be stuff coming up from your childhood, siblings, parents, messages, discord, shit coming up from the past. People feel like they have, people may feel like they have control over you or they have a right to you because they've known you for a long time or since you were a child. But you, last I checked, everybody following me is a grown ass person. So at some point you may have to, you know, give the bottle and pacifier back and be like, I'm good. Like I can handle myself. I don't, you can disagree with me. That's fine. But you ain't finna be blowing up my phone talking about how I don't know what I'm doing. You know, it's kind of something like that. Also, some of you may be having a sense of nostalgia. There may be somebody from your past that's coming back with the six of cups and the eight of wands. Somebody from your past could be traveling to see you or messaging you. Oh, cancer. Tell me about the four of swords. God, I love Faith Evans. I love you. Seven of Swords in reverse. So some of you found out that somebody did something shady or said something shady or has ulterior motives. And instead of confronting it, you're just moving on with your plans. You're biting your tongue. You're sitting on the information and you're moving on. I feel like a lot of you guys, your integrity is super high cancer right now. Always, but especially right now. Um, it's like you're, you're not interested in... Um, returning like revenge. You're not interested in avenging anything. You're not interested in revenge. You're not interested in calling somebody out. Um, it's like, you know what you know, and you're going to take that information with you and you're going to make the best right decision for you. You're going to do the next best thing, the next right thing. Okay. Integrity is what I just heard. Spirit, tell me about the two of coins for cancer. Ace of cups. Wow. Some of you guys are making a decision to choose either self-love or romantic love over something else. Um, you may be prioritizing, not even choosing love, but prioritizing love, self-love, romantic love, prioritizing that over maybe other people or other, other things, other obligations that maybe you used to prioritize and now you're growing up, you may be in love, you're freeing yourself from the, the grip of something that has been keeping you small and I feel like when you prioritize um, expressing these feelings or sharing these feelings with somebody else, if that's the case for you, it's going to free you because you're, you're making the choice that's best for you and the universe loves it when we stick up for ourselves and when we do what we feel is right. It loves that. So tell me about the nine of wands in reverse for cancer. Yeah, it's like you're, you're letting yourself out of this 
kind of pen you've been. So check this out before I tell you what came out. Look at these two. Sorry, that was terrible, but I love that part. Okay, so free yourself. You see he's in like a, a cage. And then look, nine of wands, kind of like a gate, like a cage. There's something here about being kept small, being kept in a, in a box. And you're freeing yourself from that. So what we have now is the two of wands. The choice is yours. You have a choice to make. Red pill, blue pill, right, left, up, down. Do you want to go back or do you want to go forward? And what's interesting is in this picture, <clears throat> excuse me, and this could be forced perspective a little bit, but see how this wand is taller? I feel like you've already made your choice and you're just waiting for the right time or you're waiting to give yourself permission to make this move or shift priorities, but you've already made your choice and it's time to move forward in the way that you and anybody else that you feel like prioritizing, I feel like it's between you, yourself, the universe, and whoever you're dealing with to decide what that journey looks like and where you guys go and at what pace. It's up to you, Cancer. It's not anybody else's choice but yours, okay? That's your reading. I loved it. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, Cancer, that would mean the world to me. And I will see you in your next reading replacement. Take care. All right. I just don't get why my bangs always get stuck in my eyelids. Did somebody just, did I just get a delivery? I think my daughter's Halloween costume just showed up at the door. I think my ring just, let me see. No, maybe not. Who freaking knows? So y'all, my daughter <laughs> is obsessed with dinosaurs. <laughs> and for Halloween, my husband and I were like, oh, it's, I'm still getting used to saying my husband. My husband and I were like, hey, what do you wanna be for Halloween? And she's not your typical girly girl. Um, and she's like, you know, I think I want to be, you know, uh, somebody from Star Wars or a Power Ranger. And we're like, okay. Well, then my husband and I were looking on Amazon and we found one of those costumes. They're inflatable and it looks like you're riding a dinosaur. So that's what she's, <laughs> she's so excited. So anyways, that's coming in today. And I, she's all excited to get home from school and try it on. Um, but she's going to be a Jurassic Park Ranger riding the back of a dinosaur. And my best friend works for like a print kind of company, not to out her, but she works in that field. And she's gonna make my daughter a little Jurassic Park tag. So she looks like a park ranger riding on this T-Rex. I literally cannot. The older my kid gets, I swear, it just gets more and more fun. I don't know about you guys, my kid is gonna be nine soon. And it just, she just shocks me all the time with like, you know, it's just so cool. She has her own, her own opinions and her own, you know, way of wanting to do things and her own, you know, I want to be this and I want this and look what I can do. It's so, so fucking cool. If you guys are ever thinking about having kids, do it, do it. Now this is on a good day. On a bad day, I might be like, mm, <laughs> travel, <laughs> spend that money on yourself. But no, being the mom, being a mom is the best. Who do we have next? Leo? All right, next up we have Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hi, Leo. All right, let's see who or what is coming towards you and what you need to know, Leo. Who or what is, oh, you got two right away. I like it. What do we got? Coins, money will be coming to you. Holla. And you have woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. Okay, could be anybody. So work is increasing, hours are increasing, getting a raise, getting a promotion, business is increasing, more clients. Um, this could be inheritance, this could be winning a lawsuit. There is a source of money that is coming to you. And from what, it's almost kind of like 10 of coins. It's, it's, it's not just a few dollars, okay? It's something to increase the feeling of security and stability that you have financially. Beautiful. All right, Spirit, one card for Leo. Who or what is coming towards my Leo? What do they need to know? Main male, main male. So this is a younger guy, um, kind of king of wands, emperor energy here. This could be a boss, a lover, 
Um, could be an Aries, does not have to be. But this main male is very attractive. They are, um, I just heard political. So I'm not sure if maybe some of you are getting involved in politics or somebody who's in politics. Anyhow, there's a sense of um, attraction here if it's romantic. Um, there's a sense of this person is very magnetic. I feel like they are charismatic. They get a lot of attention. They could definitely own a business or be just in the public eye. And this person is playing a role in your life in some capacity. This could, this person could be, you know, like I said, a boss giving you a raise of promotion or giving you a gift of money, something like that. For Leo, please. Oh, wedding. Fucking same. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Now, for some of you, there could be a third party situation and I'm only throwing it out there because I have 10 of coins, which represents marriage for me as a reader. I have main male and then I have woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. So there could be um, an established connection or a marriage here. Um, others of you guys could just be planning a wedding or, or moving your relationship forward. We're gonna pull more cards and find out, and then we're gonna clarify those cards to get all the information, squeeze all the information out we can. Spirit, this is for Leo. Four cards, please. Who or what is coming towards Leo? What does Leo need to know? Thank you. Leo. Page of Cups. Two of Swords. Hard time seeing things for what they are. Oh my God, Four of Wands, Ten of Wands. Some of you guys may be moving. Some of you guys may be planning a wedding and overwhelmed. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who is legally married to somebody else. There is an expression of love here with the Page of Cups. Okay. Um, you could, some, uh, you or the person you're dealing with could have a child, but feelings are high right now, but they're, they're not intense. They're kind of little small baby feelings, right? Um, kind of like the Page of Wands is a flirt. This is like a, hey, I really like you, or hey, I'm really fond of you, or hey, um, you're super sweet, or whatever. There's, a, there's an emotional connection here, an emotional expression. But then we have the Two of Swords. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Son of a bitch. Sorry, got a phone call. Um, two of Swords. So there's something here about not being able to make a decision, not being able to see things clearly or express things clearly. If you notice, <coughs> excuse me, she's looking through a veil and her throat chakra is blocked. So there's something here about not expressing something or not having clarity and it's under main male. So you may be unclear about how to feel about or communicate with this main male energy. Then you have 10 of wands under the wedding. So again, like I said, there may be a marriage in trouble here. It could be yours or somebody else's. It's like, it's just too much. It's just too much, it's overwhelming, it's a burden. Again, this could be moving because I have the 10 of wands and the four of wands together. That's a huge moving thing for me. So there could be somebody leaving a marriage or leaving a, a like a domestic situation and relocating. And then we have four of wands under woman. So this is all about stability in a relationship. This is about celebrating. This is a wedding or a marriage. All right, let's clarify, because this is really interesting. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Leo. What is this Page of Cups? Three of Cups, celebrating. Some of you may be getting engaged. Some of you may be planning a wedding, getting eloped. There is spending time with friends here. There's celebrating, there's partying, there's drinking, there's dancing around the Maypole. Um, this is beautiful energy. I mean, you know, there's a couple of tough cards here, but I'm not, I'm not getting anything super kind of fucked up. I feel like a lot of you guys may just be struggling with how to get to the altar or planning it or dealing with some background drama or some background noise, maybe from a woman like an in-law or a sister or an ex. Two of swords, please, for Leo. Something may be clouding your vision or it's like you need to take the the veil down so you can see things clearly. The magician, Gemini energy here, manifesting your dream life. You may not see that you have everything and all the support that you need and that you want. Some of you guys are having a hard time quite literally with planning something or with 
um, let's say who to invite or the budget or there may you and your partner may not agree on something around that doesn't have to be for all of you but the magician you are manifesting <clears throat> excuse me with the magician over the two of swords this is saying be careful because you're very very potent right now leo and your manifestation powers especially with this big super moon we just had yesterday and this is saying if you're unclear in any way if your judgment is clouded, or your vision is clouded, or you're having a hard time expressing yourself, be very cautious about manifesting because even that is manifesting more of that. So get clear, accept how you feel and how your person feels and move forward. You will manifest exactly what you want, but only if you're clear about it, right? Spirit, tell me about the 10 of wands for Leo. <clears throat> it's going to be a long ass reading. Five of Wands. So yeah, you're, there's some arguing. There's some competition here. There's some resentment, some contentment. Um, not content, not, not contentment. Um, contempt. <laughs> contentment. Five of Wands. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you're getting to a point, Leo, where you are going to start fighting for what you want because you're tired of taking on everybody else's opinions, everybody else's burdens. Um, and I feel like you're going to start fighting back and you're going to start standing up for yourself and what you want and you're sick of the drama and chaos and you're cutting it out. It's just too much and it's too overwhelming. Tell me about the four of wands, nine of wands, oh, and the emperor. Yeah, I feel like you are, um, you feel like you may have met your match. You have found emperor and the main male. We have that Aries energy here twice. Um, you're forming kind of like a a hedge of fire around your relationship or around yourself and you and your person are taking charge and you are making your own decisions and you are doing things your way and that is letting everybody know where they stand and that's letting everybody know that they cannot just do whatever they want say whatever they want they do not have an opinion in this and if they do they can shove it up their ass okay what i do like before we close guys is we went from the ten of wands to the nine of wands so there is some relief coming for whatever this is for you it is going to get better better you just have to take charge like the emperor and um set strong boundaries okay i'm gonna move on because these readings are hella long leo that is your reading i hope you enjoyed it i certainly hope it helps if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel that would mean the world to me and i will see you in your next reading or placement leo take care of course i picked the short day my daughter gets home early from school today and I picked today to do a face-to-face -face reading. All right, let's keep going. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit, please tell us who or what is coming towards Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? You have October. Well, look at that. So this month has either been really uh, vital or... Um, you may know like a Libra or Scorpio or be dealing with one, may have it in your chart. Something about this month is kind of turning something around for you or is very important. Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. So I feel like if you've been dealing with a difficult situation in love or work or finances, that the end of this, by the end of this month, it will be turning around. Beautiful. All right, Spirit Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? Official person. You could be being promoted at work. Could be dealing with somebody in the military or in law enforcement. Um, I feel like there's somebody in your life that may be giving you some advice that may be qualified. There's somebody that is stepping in on your behalf is what I'm hearing, okay? Some of you may be getting a more official title in a relationship or a job. Virgo. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So be more open. Get out of your, uh, you know, don't be so uh, limiting on who you think would be good for you, okay? They may be your perfect person, but they don't look the way that you want them to look, or they don't have the same lifestyle as you, or they don't have the whatever. Keep an open mind, and then the universe will have more to offer you, okay? Four cards for Virgo. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know, please? We're going to get four cards and then clarify them. Virgo. Page of Cups. Sweet message here. This is an offer of love or some sweet text messages. This could also be a child if you have a kid. Um, you could be, you know, dealing with your kid in the month of October. Of course, you always deal with your kid, but there may be, October may be very love or child focused. Okay, four of wands. Damn. Under official person, this could be somebody um, that is like an officiant 
or um, some of you may be um, getting engaged or married um, to somebody in the military or in law enforcement for say the benefits, not just the benefits for love too, um, but there's something here about official person in four of wands. Something is becoming more stable and official for you. Two more cards for Virgo. Ace of coins, damn. So money's looking good, stability's looking up. You do have an offer coming in. This is something big. This is something long-term. And next to the four of wands could definitely be a proposal. And 10 of coins, holy shit, I have three of my marriage cards out here. Yeah, some of you have been really struggling financially and either a boss or a banker or a financial advisor or a father figure is helping you out. Um, you may need to keep an open mind in terms of where money could come from. It's not your job to know how things are going to come to you, right? It's your job to manifest it and do everything in your power to, um, to seek that out, but it's not your business how. So I feel like money is coming towards you. Stability is coming towards you. Um, love quite possibly coming towards you. I feel like you've really been struggling either financially or with just a sense of stability or in a relationship. And that is de definitely changing, um, probably by the end of this month. So very, very soon. Spirit, please clarify the Page of Cups for Virgo. The High Priestess. So you're trusting your intuition. You may be doing your research on somebody. You may be praying about somebody, meditating about somebody, trying to get some like a vibe on somebody. Um, but there is <clears throat> a sense of kind of esoteric wisdom, um, observing something that has to do with this message of love. So you're, you're not taking it at face value. You're trusting the universe and trusting your gut, trusting your intuition, about this offer of love or message of love, whatever this is, or even when it comes to your kid, like um, I'm on a Grey's Anatomy bender right now, and it's like the third time I've watched it. And a lot of the parents in the show, they trust their intuition and they keep pushing for more information. They keep pushing for better for their child. It's something like that. Why is the four of wands here for Virgo? It's always when I exhale. The Fool, starting something brand new. This could be moving into a brand new home, building a home, renting a home, buying a home, or this could be going into a marriage situation. Um, you could be leaving a, new, a job that you've been at for years and going to a new job because you just feel like it would be better for you and you could be having a higher role or making more money at that new job. Ace of Coins, please. Why is that here for Virgo? This is a gift. This is something brand new that affects your stability. Beautiful. And it may not look like what you thought or hoped it would look like, but you can trust it. You have the six of coins. So you're finally getting what you deserve and what you asked for. So if you've been asking for a raise or asking for a promotion or you've been wanting something better, you're getting an offer. You're getting what you need and want and deserve. Beautiful. After a period, so remember five of coins comes first. So after a period of struggling and lack and not getting what you need or want, you're getting it. Beautiful. Ten of coins, please, for Virgo. I'm hearing, it's like, it's like you're finally going to have more money than month. Instead of more month than money, like you're going to have a little bit left over at the end of the month. To save, invest, spend. But according to this, you're going to be hiding it away. Tell me about the ten of coins for Virgo. Oh my God, with these ground cards. You have the hangman in reverse. So it's like you've waited long enough. You've waited long enough. And now it's time. The hangman upright is waiting, patience, seeing things from a different angle. But in reverse, um, this is like the time is net, the time is nigh. It is, it is time for you to, to get what you want, get what you deserve in terms of stability or a relationship. Okay. Could be dealing with a Pisces. I have two Pisces cards. Um, a, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or an Aries. That's what I have for you, uh, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean a lot to me. And Virgo, I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. Okay, next up we have Libra.
All right, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, please give us a couple cards for who or what is coming towards Libra and what my Libras need to know. Thank you. You have Horseshoe. Good luck. Holla! So Libra, you got some good luck coming. That's good. Oh, Jesus, that's way too many. <clears throat> some of you may be getting a new job offer or hearing of a pregnancy. I just saw the stork. One more for Libra. One more for Libra. It's too many. Oh my gosh, why do I keep getting so much? Some of you guys may be feeling stuck at work. Okay, chair filled. Someone new is entering your life, Libra. So there was once an empty chair and now it's filled. Could be a new neighbor, new friend, new coworker, new relationship. Someone is entering your life and you have good luck. Very good. Spirit for Libra. Oh, that's too many. The cards want to talk to you today, Libra. Good Lord. Expectation. So you're anticipating something. You are looking forward to something. There's something that you know is about to happen and you are on the edge of your seat waiting for it to happen. It could be somebody to arrive. You could be having uh, like uh, somebody you're in a relationship with or uh, somebody who's visiting you. You're waiting for something to arrive. This could be an opportunity that you're waiting to arrive. You could be waiting for a specific date. Let's say if you're engaged or you're moving, you're waiting for something specific here. It's going to be different for all of you guys, obviously. All right, Libra. One card for Libra, please. Oh, God damn. They're flying out, Libra. God, Jesus. I'm just going to, I'm not going, I'm not getting the fuckers on the floor. I'm just going to show you the one that popped up upright on my desk. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So don't let your pain and hurt and resentment and regret from the past hang you up in the future. You could ruin it. So stop it. Don't bring old experiences into new experiences. Let them be what they are. Okay, learn, right? Learn from it, but don't bring it into the next situation. All right, let's get some cards for you and then we'll clarify spirit who or what is coming towards Libra. What does Libra need to know? Oh, and happy birthday, by the way, if you've had a birthday. Well, obviously you've had a birthday recently because you're a fucking Libra. If you're a Libra son, happy birthday. Four cards for Libra, please. <clears throat> Page of Swords, getting some communication, information, some messages. You could be doing some research, learning something new. Some of you could be dealing with a child or children. Five of Cups under expectation. Some of you didn't get what you expected or something didn't quite add up or something wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Sadness, disappointment, regret. Justice. So either you're getting justice or somebody else is getting justice, but things are going in your favor and they're going the way that they're supposed to. There's some karma here. That's your card as well, Libra, justice. You, some of you may have to forgive and uh, forgive yourself for something. Seven of cups under chair filled. So you are daydreaming at the, about the future. You are um, optimistic. You are looking for opportunities. Some of you may be a little bit confused about something, maybe a new relationship or something that you've just met may be confusing to you or may have you kind of looking to the future excitedly, um, looking at all of the different options that you actually had because something didn't pan out the way that you expected in the past. And I think it had to do with love, but there was just a lot of disappointment. And now it's like the world is your oyster. And, and I feel like, you know, as long as you do right and you forgive yourself and forgive, who, forgive whoever else needs forgiveness, that um, you will have more options than you could possibly imagine, but don't let them overwhelm you. You know, in sales, we say a confused mind says no. So try to keep it super simple, okay? Whatever that means for you. Let's clarify the page of swords for Libra, please. Okay, that didn't take long. Knight of coins. So there's something here about um, realizing that you need to move slow and steady. This is about patience. This is about taking your time with your investments and how quickly you rush into something long-term and stable. Um, some of you may be finding out that you're getting a raise and that may not be exactly what you wanted, but it may be better than what you had. <clears throat> Others of you are moving forward in a commitment in a committed relationship. Spirit, tell me about the five of cups for Libra. You got the six of cups in reverse. You're sad about something to do with children or something from your past or something nostalgic. Some of you are seeing, like it's like selective memory, like you are only remembering the good and not the bad. So you're, there's something about coming to terms with that. Healing your past, healing 
something to do with kids. Five of swords here. Yeah, you're getting what you want. It's on top of justice. You may have to fight for your rights or fight for yourself or advocate for yourself, but you're getting what you want. But here's the thing with the five of swords is other people usually have to get kind of not fucked over, but not everybody can win. Not, nobody gets a participation trophy. Um, so I feel like things are going your way, but there may be some casualties <laughs> in the in the background, okay? Tell me about the Seven of Cups for Libra. <clears throat> the Fool. Yeah, I feel like you are ready to start something brand new. You're ready for a new adventure, a new life, a new opportunity, a new relationship. You're excited, you're enthusiastic, um, you're a little wet behind the ears, and you're jumping into something brand new um, and trusting the process and trusting yourself, and I love that for you. You could be dealing with another Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, or an Aries. That's what I have for you. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I certainly hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world to me. And Libra, I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. <sighs> All right, next we have Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy almost birthday, Scorpios. All right, Spirit, please show us who or what is coming towards Scorpio and what they need to know. Throne, position of authority. So you're being put in control of something. You're being put above others. You're being, uh, this could be being promoted or <clears throat> there's something about being hailed as the point of authority, okay? One more for Scorpio, thank you. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. It could definitely be professional. It's not what you know, it's who you know, right? I actually think it's both, but here we are. I have my own opinions. All right, let's get one for Scorpio. Who or what is coming towards them? God, they want to talk to you today. Main male, you could be shaking hands, meeting with an Aries or a younger man. This is someone between the ages of probably 30 and 50. Um, could run a business, could be very important, could have a big social media presence or just be very well known in the community. This could be a politician, um, a business owner. Uh, either way, I'm seeing here that... Um, this main male may either be offering you a position of authority, Scorpio, or you're helping this man, this main male, or um, you may meet this person. This may be a potential love interest. This could also be the stranger that you're meeting with handshake. Main male energy. Could be an Aries. Does not have to be. Spirit, what else is coming in for Scorpio? What else is coming in for Scorpio? Oh. You're the first sign that it didn't, oh, there we go. <laughs> you deserve love. You are lovable. Whoever made you feel or believe that you weren't could catch these fucking hands. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I am not violent, but I get on YouTube and I get so defensive about you guys. I get, I feel so protective. Um, I'm actually feeling really emotional. I feel like, um, so I'm seeing Sagittarius energy here. You could have that in your chart, be on the cusp or be dealing with one. But I feel like there's something that may make you feel guarded or jaded about love because you've been taught by someone or people in your life from your past that you were not. Maybe somebody tried to make you believe you were too hard to love or you weren't lovable. Um, that is so far from the truth, it is painful, okay? Um, I feel like you are about to be reigning over others, not only maybe professionally, but maybe finding um, a really solid connection that shows you love. But here's the thing, Scorpio, as a Scorpio Venus, I know that sometimes a Scorpios and a couple of other signs that I won't mention right now because this is Scorpio's time, that um, if we are used to feeling unlovable, the second that we meet true love and it makes us start to feel vulnerable or makes us start to feel scared or challenges that belief that we're not lovable, sometimes we can push it away. So just be cognizant of that and cautious not to do that because you don't want to push away your blessings, okay? All right, let's get four cards and then we're going to clarify in spirit who or what is coming towards Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Thank you. Ten of Wands, feeling overwhelmed, burdened, obligated. 
Some of you may be moving or just have too much on your fucking plate. Feel like you're doing everything yourself. Temperance, there's Sagittarius energy. Again, this is about moderation. It's about moderation, self-restraint. Trying things, experimenting. Knight of Swords. Some of you may be getting a message because you deserve love has a bow and arrow. And then Knight of Swords is about messages. So you may have a message coming in from somebody who wants to express their love to you. And then you have Eight of Cups. So you may be meeting somebody that makes it easier for you to walk away from anybody or anything that has ever emotionally disappointed you or depleted you in the past. I feel like maybe in professional or in love life, Scorpio, you've been feeling overwhelmed. You've been feeling like you're doing all the work. Um, and it's, I feel like you want something that's more balanced. I feel like you want something um, that is more direct, that is more suited for you. And again, I feel like between this main male and this handshake and then training yourself to believe you actually deserve love and like really believing that and behaving according, accordingly, you are welcoming in not only the ability to experience the love or the job of your dreams, but you're also um, gaining the ability to piece out to anything that, cha that challenges that. Anyone that's ever made you feel unworthy or anything that doesn't suit you and isn't aligned with you, you are now giving yourself permission to walk away from. That's beautiful. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Wands for Scorpio. It's like you're taking your power back, but meeting somebody is going to start that process. Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, some of you um, may have been wanting to move forward in a relationship or a job or actually move or travel, and it was just too much. Like the obligation was all on you. Everything was on you. Um, and you're just feeling overwhelmed and un and very burdened and kind of in this place of not being able to move past something or move forward. And this could definitely be some hurt or some pain, or it could be something physical and tangible. Spirit, tell me about temperance here for Scorpio. Oh, gosh. You got the Ten of Wands in reverse. Look at that. So we had it in the upright and now all it takes is some modification because temperance is about not overgiving, not over receiving, experimenting, trying new things, moderating things. So I feel like there's some moderation and some modification that you are doing in your life with and without this stranger is turning that 10 of wands upside down. You're releasing burden, you're releasing obligation, you're releasing um, heavy weight. Some of you are losing weight, like actual weight. Um, or have decided not to, it's like you're outsourcing. You're not holding yourself responsible for everybody's bullshit now. You're not doing everything by yourself. Wow, I love that. Spirit, okay. Two of cups on the Knight of Swords. Like I said, I feel like you're getting some communication. I feel like there is, you may be meeting somebody very soon, very quickly, and you have an instant connection. Um, you see eye to eye, you're compatible. One person may be, you know, two to five inches taller, um, somebody here in this connection may have, um, like shoulder length hair or really, really long hair, but there is, um, compatibility here. There's the potential for union and I feel like it's moving quickly. And I feel like this is someone who's very direct and someone who has no problem expressing what they want. And it's like, they make you know that you're lovable. Hello. Talk about the eight of cups for Scorpio. Alexa, skip. Got judgment. There's something or someone you're leaving behind and it's a good judgment call. You're passing judgment on a past relationship or situation that has depleted you or made you feel not lovable or hurt you and you're walking away and now it's like all of a sudden you're going to start thriving. Things are going to start booming for you. Um, but it's it, there's a serendipitous meeting here and a decision on your part to make different moves and your whole it's like your whole life is taking is starting a new trajectory. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. That's what I got for it. Or an Aries. All right, Scorpio, that's your reading. Gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. If you would please like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. And Scorpio, I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. Ta-da! Oh, I saw her and she hit me like, ta-da! Got that thing so beautiful. She just hit my heart, oh. All right. We've got
Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, can we please have a couple of cards? Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Gotta make you mine. Sagittarius. So hard to find. Sagittarius. You got bird flying. News is on the way. So you've been waiting for a decision or news or a message. It is coming. Uh, one hour, 14 minutes and 44 seconds on the clock just now. So one, one, four, four, four could mean something, might not. Uh, one more card for Sagittarius, please. Who or what is coming towards them? News, decision, information, message, moon, changes in your life. So whatever this information or news is might change your life. Could be overnight. We did just have a full super moon yesterday, so I feel like it's coming very soon. Spirit, one card, please, for Sagittarius. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? I might as well pick up these other cards that fell for Scorpio. Hang on. You just have to, what, look at my ass? I can't even tell what you're looking at. Oh, Jesus. All right, so again, main male is coming out a lot today. So this is a masculine energy, probably between the ages of 30 and 55. Someone who either owns a business, has a high, um, like a high, a high powered position or a position of authority. Someone who gets a lot of attention. Um, this could be a love interest, could be a boss, could be somebody you know, but there is a main male here that is um, demanding energy or this could even be you, um, but I feel like there is a masculine in your life that's going to be um, pivotal. Could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. Spirit, please give us one card. Could be news about a main male or news from a main male. One card for Sagittarius, please. Okay, pay attention to the red flags. You also had getting to know each other come out. So you could be getting to know somebody, dating somebody. Um, it says the signs are cautioning you. Don't ignore the red flags. They will come back to bite you in the ass, okay? Everybody has some red flags, but you know, you don't want enough red flags to knit a fucking sweater, okay? All right. Maybe like a maybe like a bandana, but not a like a, you know, a gown. We don't want a gown made out of the red flags, am I right? All right, let's get four cards for Sagittarius and then I'm going to clarify these for you as well, Saggy. Four cards for my Sagittarius. Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius? What do they need to know, please spirit? Thank you. 10 of coins coming out a lot today. Focusing on your stability, saving, investing, increase in money and stability. Beautiful. This could also be marriage, family, long-term commitment, page of cups. Somebody's expressing their feelings here. It could be you, somebody else, or you could have a child, be dealing with a child. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Oh, Lord. Six of wands. Wow. Success, victory, being um, renowned, being uh, recognized, recognition. Is that? One more for Sagittarius. Okay. The wheel in reverse. Interesting. Wheel of fortune in reverse, which is a Sagittarius card. So I'm going to clarify that, but there may be, um, you may, oh, thank you. Spirit is saying, don't celebrate too soon. Don't celebrate too early. No preemptive celebration, Sagittarius. Not anytime soon. Um, if you get too much in your pride and ego about celebrating something or gloating or pride, it may actually gunk up this wheel. When in the upright, it's positive movement forward, but when upside down, it's bad luck and it's not moving forward. You may be hung up on something. Stormy weather. Could be an ex. Since my man and I ain't together. All right, let's clarify these cards. Spirit, please give me the 10 of coins. Why is this here? <clears throat> Why is the 10 of coins here for Sagittarius, please? Oh yeah. I have to sing it. Life is bare. Bloom and misery everywhere. Stormy weather. Stormy weather. So some of you guys are hung up on a pain or a past or an ex or something that's not letting things move forward. It may be on the surface, like you're making good money, you're getting notoriety, your things look good, but there's something here that isn't quite right and it may be keeping you stuck. Anyways. Ten of Coins for Sagittarius. The time. 
It's like a sense of, sense of pessimism almost. Five of Swords. Some of you may be having to make some moves or do some things, cut some, uh, step on some toes, if you will, to get what you want stability and financially, like stability wise and financially. Other, it's like a cutthroat kind of energy. It's very strategic, but you're getting what you want. But just be careful how you manage yourself because the Five of Swords always leaves casualties in its wake. So just be cautious who, you know, don't cut your nose off to spite your face kind of thing. Why is the Page of Cups here for Sagittarius? Knight of Swords. So you're getting some really blunt, direct, fast-moving messages or information about either a child or some feelings and emotions. Could be from a main male or about a main male, but I'm seeing um, sweet messages, but coming in quickly. There's a. It's almost like um, somebody is doing a temperature check to be like, hey, miss you, whatever. And then as soon as they realize they have an end, they're like, Brr, and they have all this shit to say. And they're very direct and it's coming in quickly. Why is the Six of Wands here for Saji? Why is the six of, oh, Jesus. That's too many cards, Spirit, but thank you. Why is the six of wands here for Sagittarius? The time. Seven of cups in reverse. Coming out of confusion. Narrowing down your options. Not being a greed, little greed, greed, okay? Um, there's something here about... Um, deciding and as soon as you decide what you're worth where you want to go who you want what you want you have victory and success with it but you got to decide you can't be you can't be greedy don't be greedy all right why is the wheel of fortune in reverse for sagittarius let me get a couple cards on that please ace of cups okay you may be stuck in love or or um have a hard time accepting love or expressing love Jealousy, maybe some jealousy, eight of wands in reverse. Something here is not moving forward because something hasn't, either you're not loving yourself enough or there's love that hasn't been expressed. There's unexpressed love, unfinished business in love that is um, keeping something from moving forward. Also, this may not be the right time to move forward in a love situation or to express your feelings. So that wheel in reverse, wheel of fortune in reverse is not the right time. And it's Sagittarius card. And then you have Ace of Cups and Eight of Wands in reverse. So either you feel like you're not getting the love that you want and deserve, or you're having a hard time expressing it, or this is the universe saying, Skrr, it's not the right time. There's some red flags to look at. Things are about to change. News is on the way that could change everything. So just hold off. You could be dealing with an Aries. I'm sorry. Yeah, an Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or another Sagittarius such as, such as yourself. But Saggy, that is your reading. Very interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it helps. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, Sagittarius, that would mean the world to me. And I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. All right. It's pissing me off. I need to cut this side, I think, guys. I just trimmed them, but I was trying to hurry because I don't have a lot of time. Okay. Doing just fine. I see you have Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, Spirit, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you please give us a couple of cards? Who or what is coming towards Capricorn? What can they expect? You got Pin, a new job or career. Some of you may be starting your own business, starting your own brand, or just going to a new job. Capricorn, one more. Dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion, hair, or eyes. Touching you just by mistake. Accidentally do you say my name? Oh, Lord. All right, let's get a kipper. Spirit, this is for Capricorn. One card for Capricorn, please. You got message. You are either sending a message or you have a message coming in. This could be a handwritten letter or some documents. Could have something to do with love. I, that wax seal, I say it every time. It makes me think of a heart or love. There's a message either incoming or you're sending a message. Could be a lover from the past considering the song that just came on. And if I... Uh, um, 
in love. I know what I got to do. Next time I fall in love. Yep, Peter Gabriel, Peter Cetera. Peter Cetera and Amy Grant, maybe? Okay. Um, one, oh, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So you may not have all the information. You may not feel comfortable totally, but something in your bones or in your soul is telling you to hold on and trust the situation. Things may not be ideal yet, but there's a situ situation asking you to have faith. Okay. Let me give these a good shuffle. Spirit, this is for Capricorn. Can we please get four cards? If you've been dealing with any financial tension or debt or strife, um, you have the star and the five of cut or five of coins on the split. There could be some healing or some help on the way. Help is on the way, dear, from Mrs. Doubtfire. That's what I just heard. Nice. Could be some mess a message about some money or debt relief or something like that. All right, Spirit, four cards. Who are what is coming towards Capricorn? What can they expect? <clears throat> Capricorn. Ten of Cups in reverse. So unhappiness. This talks about, it's like popping the bubble of ideal dream love. It's like um, getting the ick about somebody or learning who somebody really is. It's like um, being let down in love or emotionally kind of disappointed something not being perfect. <clears throat> Three more for Capricorn. Okay, Queen of Coins in reverse, oh boy. This could be an ex, could be a mother figure. Capricorn, Tor Taurus, or Virgo energy here. This talks about not taking care of the kids, not taking care of the home, not being resourceful, not being mindful of spending. This can talk about needing to up your self-care. There's something here about not nourishing or nurturing something, including yourself. Two more for Capricorn. Or again, you could just have somebody coming towards you. Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands. Wow. There's a situation with the Seven of Swords. You may be gathering information or you may be having to make some moves in secret and you're having to just keep things to yourself. Five of Wands, there could be some explosive energy, some um, combativeness, some competition, some arguing, fighting. Could be with this dark woman, could be with somebody else. Could also be competition, but there's something here about keeping your moves to yourself as to not give up your position. Um, I feel like you are moving towards, like for instance, um, this new job or career, like don't, t don't go around telling everybody until it's actually official, until you get this message, keep the faith um, and trust that financially and emotionally things are going to turn around, but there may, there's some things that need to change first. Let's clarify these spirit. Can you please tell me why the 10 of cups is here for Capricorn? Page of coins. There it is. Uh, this is a gift, an apology, a raise, a promotion. It's something small, but it's something to kind of get things going and turn it around. This could also be a small investment um, in terms of a new job or career, but I feel like whatever you're moving towards professionally is going to give you more money and opportunity. Why is the Queen of Coins in reverse? I'm not taking both of those, but thank you. Just one. Oh, there it goes. Two of Cups just flipped up. So there could be a third party situation here, a disgruntled ex or an ex-husband or wife. Um, there's a new union here. There could be a new compatible union. This could also be this new job situation. It could be something that's way more compatible, has way more potential. Oh, I always do that with my feet. Um, but there's seeing eye to eye, having the same vision, being aligned, moving in the, in the same direction. And this is either about your money, your professional life, or love. It's going to be different for all y'all. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. You always find a way. To keep me right here waiting. Five of Swords. So you have Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, and Five of Swords. Very strategic, very competitive, very... Um, this can also be very like calculated. Um, this can be sabotaging something. I feel like with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, you need to decide what you want, make your moves in silence, and just understand that there are going to be casualties, and you just have to do what you believe is best for you, Capricorn. Period. Tell me about the Five of Wands for Capricorn, please. Four of Swords. Again, you may have the opportunity to get into an argument or a fight or get into a competitive energy or even enter a competition, and the universe is asking you to not do it. It's asking you to hibernate, take a break, bite your tongue, lay on your swords, process some information, 
process some hurt and just rest. Um, this is not the time to get into a brawl or get into this big, you know, brouhaha, if you will. It's time to just lay down, take it easy and trust. Again, the situation is calling for you to have faith. So don't go trying to fix it or leave it or, you know, whatever, run towards it. Just let it be what it is and try to avoid that five of wands energy and you'll be good to go. Okay. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That's what I got. All right. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I really hope it helped Capricorn. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. And I will see you in your next reading or placement Capricorn. Take care. Alexa, skip. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, please give us a couple of cards for who or what is coming towards Aquarius. What can Aquarius expect? Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So you could be nesting, building a home, moving, creating a family, building a family. And you have fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate, but you know what it's not? Apathy. Mm. So you're passionately in love or passionately. I feel like a lot of you guys, it's passionate love, but we'll see. All right. I like this so far. Spirit, one card for Aquarius. Who or what is coming in for Aquarius? What can they expect? Imprisonment. Could be dealing with somebody who's incarcerated or dealing with the legal system. For most of you, though, I just feel like you feel stuck or trapped. You may have a way out, though. There's a mouse with a key. Just saying. You could free yourself. Potentially, unless you're actually incarcerated, then in which case, why? how are you on YouTube? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Spirit, one card for Aquarius. <laughs> Funny, I actually had somebody call me from jail about 40 minutes ago. <laughs> All right. One card for Aquarius, please. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you may be taking a trip, going on vacation, Going on an actual honeymoon, I feel like you're spending time alone with your lover. Some of you maybe feel, maybe you feel stuck at home. Maybe you work from home, you take care of the kids, you whatever, you're always home, you're always in between four walls and you just feel stuck and trapped and you're like, let me out. So you may be going um, somewhere with your lover or with somebody that you're very passionate about. Gorgeous. All right, let's get four cards for Aquarius and then we'll clarify them, okay? Spirit, who or what is coming towards Aquarius? What can they expect? What do they need to know? The devil, Capricorn energy. Some of you guys could be on the cusp or dealing with one, but there's something here about bad habits, something making you feel stuck or trapped or something that you're tied to, something that has control over you. Three more. You got the six of swords. Wow, beautiful, right under imprisonment. So this is safely but slowly moving forward into less troubled waters, into calmer waters, could be traveling, like I said, moving. You're moving away from something that made you feel stuck and trapped. Gorgeous. Five of coins. <clears throat> you may be struggling with money or feeling like you need some help. Maybe asking for some help. Aquarius. Ten of wands. What else came out? And the six of cups. Some of you guys may be weighed down about your kids or about something from the past or something you're nostalgic about. You may be having a hard time balancing home life, work life, and love life at this moment. Again, ask for help. Outsource. You, not everything is on your shoulders. Not everything is your responsibility. You are not obligated to everyone, any and everyone. You are obligated to yourself and your children and whoever you share your life with, okay? Let's clarify these spirit. Tell me about the devil for Aquarius. You can't be everything to everybody is what I'm hearing. Why is the devil here for Aquarius, please? Three of wands in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. Some of you guys are having a hard time moving forward because you took some bad advice or didn't, didn't trust your intuition. And now you're having a hard time seeing the forest for the trees. You're having a hard time seeing your way out of a situation and you feel stuck. Tell me about the six of swords for Aquarius. Why am I getting all these several cards? Just one, please. 
Tell me about the Six of Swords for Aquarius. Oh my gosh, again, King of Coins and Ten of Cups. You're moving towards more stability. You may be moving towards a stable relationship with an earth sign. You may be moving towards a dreamy relationship, a family life. You could be getting married, starting a family, um, moving away from maybe an old town or an old group of friends or family members that kept you stuck and kept you small and you're freeing yourself and you guys are kind of making your own identity moving forward. Interesting. Why is the Five of Coins here? Some of you may want to take a vacation or a trip and you can't afford it. Why is the five of coins here for Aquarius? Ace of cups. I'm hearing love don't pay the bills and I'm also hearing love isn't always enough. So I feel like you may be in a loving situation, but maybe you guys are struggling to pay the bills or struggling to, you know, spend money on a vacation or, you know, um, you may have to love each other and love yourself through a tough financial period coming up or right now. Also, you may need to love yourself enough to ask for help. Interesting. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Aquarius, please? Aquarius, Ten of Wands. I love living in Florida, man. The light changes every fucking second. And I'm a natural light photographer. So imagine trying to, yeah, imagine, imagine. All right. The Hierophant. So some of you guys may be getting married or you are relying on a, the church or the government or a wise figure, the Hierophant, um, <clears throat> to help you with the Ten of Wands. This is clarifying the Ten of Wands. Some of you guys feel spiritually heavy. You may need to... Um, trust your gut about something or get some advice on how to lighten your load from somebody. Um, this is like, I feel like you're relying, you're, you're depending on spirituality to help you carry the burden of something. You also may be um, learning something like doing some higher learning or even teaching. This could be about literal weight. You know, um, this could be like physical weight. This could be about like emotional or spiritual burden. You may be helping others or maybe learning how to navigate that. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces. And that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I certainly hope it helps. It was very interesting. If you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. And Aquarius, I will see you in your next reading replacement. Take care. Ever. Alexa, skip. I love that song, but I can't. Sometimes certain parts of songs will just... Like, I just can't. Can't believe we made it through. And I'm going to have time to smoke a cigarette before I have to go get my kid from the bus stop. <laughs> oh, trash. I think me and Tyler Tarot would get along well. I think so. Tyler, if you see this, I fucking love you. I've been watching you for years. We should uh, tandem read one day. If I'm ever in Vegas, I'll shout you out. I'll give you a shout and we'll go to a whorehouse together. <laughs> All right, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, can you please give us two cards? Who or what is coming towards Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Oh, that was too many. Pisces, June. So you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer. Have that in your chart where the month of June either was significant this year or will be significant next year. Could be something to do with a death or passing of somebody or like a death anniversary, or it could be like a wedding. <clears throat> That's the vibe I'm getting. One more for Pisces. Thank you. Table, hard work ahead. There is hard work ahead. Shocker, we're human and we're alive, but Pisces, you've got some hard work to do. Some of you may be um, renovating some furniture or renovating a house, doing some remodeling, flipping some furniture, something like that. Um, but there is some hard work ahead. You're gonna have to put your, really put your elbow into it. You know what I'm saying? All right, Spirit One card for Pisces. Who or what is coming towards Pisces? What do they need to know, please? Oh, it's like yelling at me. Official person. So this is somebody in the military or law enforcement. This is a father figure or a boss. Um, this is somebody who is in a position of authority or power to that is either recognizing you or giving you advice. 
Some of you guys could be graduating something or becoming something more official in June. This could be in a relationship or a professional or even educational setting. Could be recognition as well. Um, a person of note is what I just heard in my, in my mind. All right, Spirit, one for Pisces. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? You got flirt. Ew. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Are you flirting, Pisces? Not a Pisces flirting. Get the fuck out of here. So somebody's either flirting with you or you're flirting with somebody. Could be this official person. I just, <laughs> please don't let it be like a, your probation officer. <laughs> That's what I heard. Okay. That's going to be for like negative two of you. Calm down. All right. Four cards. Who or what is coming towards Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? I do feel like this official person um, quite, quite possibly could be military or law enforcement, but they're older. They're not young. I don't feel like they're young. I feel like they're kind of more like a emperor kind of energy. All right, spirit, four cards, and then we're going to clarify these cards, okay? Pisces, who or what is coming towards you, Pisces? You got the knight of coins. So something slow and steady, something stable. You may be making investments. Maybe your income is slowly rising. Maybe you're, um, there's something here that is becoming, but it's not rapid. Could also be an earth sign that you're connecting with. Three more for Pisces. Seven of Cups. So if you are being chosen for something or promoted or hired or recognized, I feel like you are one of many contenders. So you're being, it's not just like you were the only one because I have official person and then Seven of Cups. There, was, there were a lot of options and you were being chosen. Others of you, I feel like you may be asking somebody for advice because you may feel overwhelmed or confused about a direction or a feeling or a decision. And you may be asking for some advice. Two more for Pisces. Okay, you got the Eight of Cups, which comes after the Seven of Cups. So anything that doesn't fit you or align with you, you're leaving behind. It's under flirt. So I feel like some of you um, may be dating or maybe flirting with options in your life, not just people, but direction and jobs, whatever. And you are finally finding what aligns with you and you are flirting with your future. You are, what's that? Um, I'm in love with my future. Can't wait to meet her. Cause I, I'm in love. Not with anybody else. Just want to get to know myself. Billie Eilish. <clears throat> My future. Is that what it's called? Listen to that song. Anyways, one more for Pisces. You're leaving it all behind. No matter what it used to mean to you, no matter how much you emotionally depended on it, you're like, peace. Queen of Wands. So you are, some of you guys may be having a glow up. Okay. You may be changing your hair. You may be getting some new clothes. You may be doing something about your looks. There's something here about charis being charismatic, magnetic, but it's not coming easily. And not saying that you're not already charismatic and magnetic, but I think you're trying to get noticed, or I think you're trying to um, kind of up the excitement or elevate your life experience. And I feel like um, it's not just going to come to you. There's only so much that you're going to bring to you naturally. You also are going to have to put in a lot of hard work. This could be in the physical realm, spiritual realm, emotional, doesn't matter. Uh, let's clarify these motherfucking cards and see what's going on. Spirit, why is the Knight of Coins here for Pisces? Pisces. Oh, Page of Coins. Look at that. So I feel like there's no, okay, it's not like you're winning the lottery. Let's just be very clear. Um, I almost called you Paige. Is somebody's name Paige? My cousin's name is Paige. I miss her. She's so beautiful. Anyways, um, you have the Knight of Coins and the Page of Coins. So this is small offers, little chunks, little, uh, little upticks in money. This is little offers. This is um, gradual increase, slow, steady, but dependable. This is an offer. This is a raise. This is a gift. This is new business, new referrals, reviews, things like that. Okay, gorgeous. So money is looking good, but it's there's no sharp increase. It's just a steady incline, which is good. That's more reliable anyways and more stable. Spirit, why is the seven of cups here for Pisces? Some of you may have a kid or be dealing with a kid. Ten of swords. Ooh, ten of swords with that seven of cups. Yeah, you are deading. You are any. You are ending any painful connections emotionally. You are disconnecting from anything or anybody that doesn't align with you anymore, Pisces. You are. Um, you've had enough. There's something here that you are ending or has ended, and it's freeing up your options. Cool. Spirit, why is the eight of cups here for my Pisces? That's a, way too many cards. Jesus. Just one, please. 
You may feel a little frazzled about leaving or nervous about leaving or have some anxiety and you just need to keep trucking forward. Put one foot in front of the other. There's a song by Sia called Little Black Sandals. Listen to it. If, I, if it comes up, it has to come out, okay? Eight of Cups for Pisces. Eight of Cups for Pisces. Page of Wands. Exciting news, offer, opportunity, excitement, flirting. It's right under flirt. Just make sure it's aligned with you. And if it's not, leave it behind. But I feel like by this eight of cups, this seven of cups to eight of cups and then queen of wands energy, it's like you are, you are leveling up and you are glowing up just by leaving behind all the bullshit and all the stragglers and all the fucking has-beens, okay? Um, and you're gonna start getting new offers and little, little tinges of new excitement in your life and little opportunities and messages and increases that are going to make your self-worth shoot through the roof. Wow, which is, it's like, it's like, it's like increasing your aura points. You know what I mean? Queen of Wands, why is it here for Pisces? I wanna hold you close. Four of Cups. Yeah, some of you guys may be, become, may be becoming so magnetic that you've got all these tempting offers coming in. You've got people in your ear, people trying to get your attention, people trying to get you to notice them, people trying to take you home, people trying to date you, people trying to take, you know, whatever. And with the Four of Cups, it's like, you're just not interested. Like you're focused so much on your own level up and your own glow up and your kind of stability here that it's like, you're not even paying attention to this, see this like Komodo dragon in the tree. He's like, hey, little kid, I got an extra, <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's like, hey, I got an extra cup for you. And you're like, no, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Um, so you're not easily distractible, easily distracted moving forward, but you also might have, it's like, you may feel really good about yourself and you may feel good about how business is going or work is going or whatever, but I feel like you still might feel like there's something lacking. Um, like maybe you're a little bored or discontent, but don't go doing anything crazy. Focus on that work. It says work, hard work is ahead. And maybe the hard work is just having to, um, ignore things that maybe you depended on for entertainment or validation in the past Pisces. And now you're just focusing on your glow up and your come up. And I think it's becoming, I think it's becoming of you and it, you are becoming, and I think it's gorgeous. And I love this energy for you. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I loved it. I certainly hope it helps. If you would please like this video and subscribe to my channel, Pisces, that would mean the world to me. And I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. Guys, thanks so much for being here with me. I appreciate you. I love you all. Remember, if you need a private reading, my information is down below. And I will see you very soon for your next reading. Love yourself first and most. Bye.